Is consciousness an illusion? It's almost like a shorthand that we humans use to describe a certain kind of feeling we have when interacting with the world. Or is there some big leap that happens at some I stage? I almost never use the word illusion. Illusion means that there's something that you think you're perceiving that is actually not there. Like an oasis in the desert is an illusion. It has no causal efficacy. If you walk up to where the oasis is supposed to be, you'll say you were wrong about it being there. That's different than something being emergent or non-fundamental, but also real. Like this table is real, even though I know it's made of atoms, that doesn't remove the realness from the table. I think that consciousness and free will and things like that are just as real in tables and chairs. Oasis in the desert does have causal efficacy in that in you're thirsty. causal efficacy. <laughs> well, you mean it leads you to draw incorrect conclusions about the world. Sure, but Imagining a thing can sometimes bring it to reality, as we've seen, and that has a kind of a, a causal efficacy. Sure, but your understanding of the world in a way that gives you power over it and influence sure. over it is decreased rather than increased by believing in that oasis. That is not true about consciousness or this table. You don't think you can uh, increase the chance of a thing existing by imagining it, imagining it existing? Unless you build it <laughs> or make it. No, that's what I mean. Like imagining humans can fly if you're that's the right different brothers. Imagining that humans are flying. <laughs> right. In terms of counterfactuals in the future, absolutely. Imagination is crucially important. But that's not an illusion. That's just a Oh, oh okay. So it's a, the possibility of the future versus what the reality is. I mean, the future is a concept. So you can, well, uh, in time... Time time is just a concept, so you can play with that. But yes, reality. Um, so to you, so for, for example, <laughs> I, have to, I love asking this. So Donald Hoffman um, thinks that the entirety of the conversation we've been having about space-time is an illusion. Is it possible for you to steel man the case for that? Can you make the case for and against reality, as I think uh, he writes, that uh, the laws of physics as we know them with space-time is a kind of interface to a much deeper thing that we don't at all understand, and that we're fooling ourselves by constructing this world. Well, I think there's like part of that idea that is perfectly respectable and part of it that is perfectly nonsensical. And I'm not even gonna try to steel man the nonsensical part. The real part to me is, is what is called structural realism. So we don't know what the world is at a deep fundamental level, right? Let's put ourselves in the, in the minds of people living 200 years ago. Like they, they didn't know about quantum mechanics, they didn't know about relativity. That doesn't mean they were wrong about the universe that they understood. They had Newton's laws, right? They could predict what time the sun was gonna rise perfectly well. In the progress of science, the words that would be used to give the most fundamental description of how you were predicting the sun would rise changed because now you have curved space-time and things like that, right? And you didn't have any of those words 200 years ago. But the prediction is the same. Why? Because that prediction independent of what we thought the fundamental ontology was, the prediction pointed to something true about our understanding of reality. To call it an illusion is just wrong, I think. We might not know what the best, most comprehensive way of stating it is, but it's still true. Is it true in the way, for example, belief in God is true? Because for most of human history, people have believed in a god or multiple gods. And that seemed very true to them uh, as an explanation for the way the world is. Uh, some of the deeper questions about life itself and the human condition and why certain things happen, that was a good explainer. Um, so to you, that's not an illusion. No, I think that was completely an illusion. I think it was a very, very reasonable illusion to be under. There are illusions. There are, you know, substantive claims about the world that go beyond predictions that we can make and verify, uh, which later turned out to be wrong. And the existence of God was one of them. 
Um, if those people at that time had abandoned their belief in God and replaced it with a mechanistic universe, they would have done just as well <laughs> at understanding things, right? Uh, again, because there are so many things they didn't understand, it was very reasonable for them to have that belief. It wasn't that they were dummies or anything like that. But that is, you know, as we understand the universe better and better, some things stick with us, some things get replaced. <laughs> 